Well, welcome back to OU Nightly. Thanks for joining us. Looking absolutely incredible outside. Students walking to and from class. 79 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Pretty dry out. Dew point looking at 48. But look, like I said, not a cloud in the sky. Pretty clear throughout all of Oklahoma. We're right along that dry line out west. We're seeing some cloud cover develop out towards our west. Current temperatures out outside. We're looking at 70s pretty much, even pushing some 80s out in far western Oklahoma, even a 90 or two in the panhandle. And wind gusts looking kind of the same. The panhandle looking much more extreme, seeing wind gusts pushing 45 miles an hour. A little calmer here in Norman, we're looking about 16 miles an hour. So we do have that risk for wildfires going into uh, western Oklahoma, but it's almost like the drought knows where I-44 is, because you track I-44, if you lift east, live east and southeast of it, you're looking good. You need to share some of that with the north and northwestern portions. It's been September 2nd since Guyman has seen over a quarter inch of rain. And with that, there's gonna be that fire danger that comes with it. We're looking at a high risk for fire danger in Guyman, just northwest of Woodward. Moderate, just pushing uh, west or eastern or western Canadian County. And then Norman just sitting there at that low risk. Now we do have, uh, we're going into the hour by hour tonight, we're looking at uh, 78 by 4 p.m. We're gonna trickle down into the 60s. That wind sitting at south to southeast. And then uh, for that rain chances going into tonight, just along that dry line, we actually already are seeing some showers up there develop, but 30% chance for Guyman. And then those lows, we're looking at 50s across the state, a 59 in Woodward, 56 in Elk City, and a 58 in Lawton. And then going into tomorrow, we're gonna heat right back up. That dry line's gonna set about right here. And then just behind it, we're gonna be sitting a lot warmer, 88 in Woodward here in Norman, looking at 79 degrees. Now, like I said, we do have that severe weather risk going into Friday. It's a very conditional environment. We do have the cap in place, a lid on our atmosphere that prevents storms from developing. That's why we're just seeing a marginal risk, but we're, we're expecting more, uh, the cap to break more in north and north central Oklahoma. So I have some rain chances. We're gonna stick at 20% just east of that dry line because something does fire up. It will be severe, but we're looking at just 20% and a higher risk for up there in Enid. Now, air mass forecast, there's that storm system. Here's our storm system that's gonna come in, bring in that cooler weather, a little cool weather, and then warm one up for the next couple of weeks. And then we're tracking that next storm system our farther in Northwestern United States. Now, our six to 10 temperature outlook, we're looking above average. And then for precipitation, we're sitting right about average in New Mexico, they're looking pretty below average. Now, seven day forecast, we have that transfer for severe weather on Friday. Then we kind of have a quiet pattern coming up. And then going into next week, we do have three straight days of a uh, chance for rain. But this weekend, looking absolutely phenomenal. 